there are many ways that people get ready to come close to the mystery of Easter. Some of them are done inside the church, and some of them are done outside of the church. One of the ways that people get ready for the mystery of Easter outside of the church is painting Easter eggs. You've probably seen Easter eggs like this before, maybe in an Easter egg hunt, or maybe you've dyed them yourself. But some people have forgotten the story of the mystery of Easter. But I'll tell you the story. Once there was an old man and an old woman who lived outside the city gates of Jerusalem. They had everything they needed. They had a cow to give them milk. They had vegetables in their garden. They had a tree to give them apples and dates and figs. And they also had chickens to give them eggs. And so every morning the farmer would go out to his chickens and say, good morning, may I have some eggs? And every morning they would give him all that he needed. Some mornings he would even give them enough so that he had extra to bring them into the city and sell. One morning, the farmer brought a basket full of eggs into the city of Jerusalem, but he saw a large crowd gathering and they were strangely quiet. So the man pushed through the crowd with his basket of eggs and tried to figure out what was going on. Then he saw Roman soldiers leading three men with large crosses on their backs to be crucified. The man saw one man stumble and almost drop his cross. And the old man put down his basket and reached out and grabbed the wooden beam. And the soldiers made him carry it all the way up the hill. The man stayed there all afternoon. He saw the mother Mary and the other followers of Jesus as he was crucified. He stayed there as the sky grew dark, as they took Jesus's body off the cross they laid him in a stone tomb, but the old man did not follow them there. Suddenly, he realized that he had forgotten his basket of eggs. He had put it down when he grabbed the cross. So he ran back down the path to see if he could find his basket. He turned the corner and there was his basket, but he thought, surely someone has taken the eggs inside. He opened the lid and he saw something amazing. The eggs had changed. They were beautiful colors and designs. It was as if the eggs were trying to say what had happened that day with their colors and designs. They almost looked like jewels. So the man went back into the city and told the people what had happened there that day. And the people in his city began to dye and color eggs like that. And people still do it to this day. Even though some people have forgotten this story, now you know it. There are many colors and designs that you can choose when you create your own Easter eggs. I'll tell you what some of them represent. The color black stands for remembrance. The color purple stands for power. White can represent purity. Brown can represent happiness. Red stands for love. Blue stands for health. And there are many other colors. There's a full sheet in the description of this video that shows you what each of these colors and designs stand for. Some of the designs that you might see or that you can use are designs that encircle the egg, which stand for eternity. You can draw a cross, which stands for the suffering and the death and the resurrection of Christ. You can draw a star, which stands for wisdom and guidance. Maybe you wanna draw a fish, which is one of the most ancient Christian symbols. You can draw a ladder, which shows growing in your faith, climbing up to heaven. Maybe you wanna draw a ram's horns for strength and determination. There are many, many other designs that you can choose from when you're creating an egg of your own. 
Here are some more designs from Ukrainian Easter eggs, and you can see some of the same designs and colors that I've shown you. Here we have a bird. Here we have the color red, so we're thinking about love. The Christian fish is on this one. And there's many other designs that people have done to remember what happened on this very special day. So when you create your own Easter egg, there's an egg design also in the description that you can fold into a booklet. Or if you don't have a printer, you can just draw an egg shape of your own. Then you can pick your colors and your designs. So for me, I picked a cross, a ladder, a fish, and a flower. And then on the inside, I talked about what each of these designs and colors stands for. You might even decide to dye Easter eggs at your house if you have the things to be able to do that. There are so many things that you can decide to do 